If you head out on Lake Erie over the next couple of weeks, you could spot something that has never been seen before. It's 23 feet long, it's bright orange, and it's not a lake monster. For the first time, an autonomous sailboat is being used to collect data on fish populations in our region. Rob Hackford spoke with one of the biologists working on this project. We had self-driving cars, drones, Rob, and now this. Yeah, make this number three, Kate. These sail drones or autonomous sailboats have actually been used in a few of the other Great Lakes, but this is the first time for Lake Erie. So this project started at the western end of the lake, and now between now and mid-September, it will be in our region. Region. So you may spot it. The sail drone again, bright orange and visible from about five miles away. Actually, according to Mark Dufour, a research biologist on this project, Dufour does ask if you see the sail drone, keep your distance. It will primarily be traveling between Erie, PA and Dunkirk. Uh, the drone shoots out sound waves that bounce off fish similar to a fish finder or depth finder and other boats that come by it can throw off those readings. Now the sound data will be coupled with traditional fish surveys once this project wraps up and Dufour said the goal is to improve how Lake Erie's fish population is managed. Any kind of extra um, information that we have can be beneficial. Uh, to understanding how the populations are working, and then that translates into good management practices. So we're working really closely with the, um, the fisheries managers around the lake from all the different jurisdictions. He said the data so far is looking pretty good. So you may be asking, though, why is this important? Well, when you look at the economic impact of the Great Lakes fishing industry, it's valued at more than $7 billion annually. And that supports more than 75,000 jobs as well. That's according to the Great Lakes Fishery Commission. Now, once the cell drone wraps up in our area, we'll head back towards Cleveland. The project is set to wrap up entirely around the end of September. For Most Buffalo, I'm Rob Hackford. Kate. Fascinating stuff, Rob. Thank you.